Greetings, my beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to Earth's Medicine, where we explore the healing wonders of Mother Earth with a Jamaican flavor. If you are new to the channel, my name is Monique, a 50-year-old plant enthusiast from Jamaica, and on here we strive to educate people like you on the health benefits and medicinal uses of plants that grow in Jamaica and in other parts of the world. So consider subscribing. I mean, it's totally free. And turn on your post notifications so you'll be alerted whenever we upload a new video. So, Mimosa pudica, commonly known as the sensitive plant or touch me not, is a perennial herb belonging to the Fabiaceae family, renowned for its intriguing response to touch, where its leaves fold and droop. Mimosa pudica is more than a botanical curiosity as it is oftentimes referred to as nature's pharmacy due to its diverse array of traditional medicinal uses. So, in this video, we're pretty much going to be looking at what is Mimosa Pudica, 21 health benefits and medicinal uses, 7 benefits of the seed supplements, where you can get the seed supplements to buy, and some precautions to consider. So, without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Mimosa pudica is the scientific name for a plant that goes by the common name Shema Maka, Shame Old Lady or Shame Lady in Jamaica. In other parts of the world, it is commonly known as Mimosa, Shame Plant, Sensitive Plant, Touch Me Not, Live and Die, and Shy Plant, among other common names, both in English and in other languages. It belongs to the legume family, so it's related to well known plants like soybeans chickpeas, peanuts, and many other plants. It's also related to the mimosa tree, also known as the quote-unquote tree of happiness. If you want to find out more about that tree and its amazing ability to bring happiness to anyone who is sad or depressed, then please click on the link in the description below. So back to sensitive plant. There are different varieties of sensitive plant, but it is basically a trailing, creeping herb that can grow as a ground cover or climb with the help of other structures. It typically reaches heights of 1 to 2 feet, but can sometimes grow taller under optimal conditions. The stems are slender, branched, and can have fine, stiff hairs or be almost hairless, and it has small prickles. The leaves are alternate and twice compound with each leaf composed of 10 to 26 small leaflets arranged in pairs along the central axis. They are typically green but can vary to a darker shade depending on light exposure and environmental conditions. The most distinctive feature of the plant are its leaves and their sensitivity. When touched, they fold up and the leaf stalks droop a defense mechanism thought to deter herbivores. Hence the reason why it was given the common name sensitive plant, shy plant, etc. This rapid movement can also occur in response to heat, wind, or shaking. The leaves generally reopen after a few minutes. Sensitive plant produces small globular flower heads that resemble pom-poms. They're usually pink or lavender with a dense cluster of stamens giving them a fluffy appearance. The plant also produces small flat seed pods that start off green and eventually turn to brown upon maturity. They have prickles around the edges and each pod is about 1 to 2 cm long. They typically contain 1 to 5 seeds and one plant can produce up to 700 seeds per year. Sensitive plant is native to the Caribbean and South and Central America but is now distributed in other parts of the Americas and in other parts of the world including Asia. Africa and Australia. Here in Jamaica, you will find this plant growing wildly, organically and abundantly in people's yards, in cow pastures, along roadsides and in other green spaces. The plant is said to provide a relaxing effect which instills a sense of calmness during sleep and used to fill one's pillow to promote sleep during bedtime. Crushed leaves are also made into a paste, then boiled in hot water and strained 
This is then taken at night time to treat insomnia and it is said that within 15 to 20 days, one will start to see results. Tea made from the roots is said to be good for individuals who have nervous problems or insomnia. To treat asthma, it is said that 15 milliliters of the plant's juice is extracted and taken two times daily. The plant's leaf juice is applied to minor cuts and wounds, which is said to be useful for promoting healing and providing relief from pain. Or the root paste is applied as a paste to fresh wounds to stop bleeding and speed up healing. Taking 30 milliliters of the plant's juice morning and evening is said to be useful for reducing blood sugar in diabetics. Usually within 7 to 10 days, it is said that diabetics will see a difference in their blood sugar reading. Fifteen milliliters of the plant's juice taken twice daily is said to be useful for reducing high blood pressure. Gargling with the root decoction is said to be useful for treating a toothache and for maintaining good oral hygiene. The root paste is said to be useful for preventing tooth decay. Using herbal shampoos made from extracts of the plant is said to be useful for promoting the growth of new hair cells and for controlling hair loss and baldness or an infusion is made from the plant cooled and massaged as a final rinse into the hair after washing, which is also said to be useful for the latter. The seeds of the plant are mixed with equal parts of rock sugar and two teaspoons of this are taken with warm milk at night to treat premature ejaculation. The leaf paste is applied to joints, which is said to be useful for treating joint pain or painful and swollen joints caused from arthritis. This is then left overnight and washed off in the morning. The leaf paste is mixed with honey and taken twice daily for 3-4 to four days on an empty stomach and this is said to be useful for treating stomach pain and intestinal worms. Ten grams of the root decoction is prepared in 400 milliliters of water and taken twice daily, which is said to be useful for treating snake bites. This is also said to be useful for fighting the venom of snakes such as cobras. The leaf powder is taken with milk two or three times daily, and this is said to be useful for treating piles, or the root and leaf powder is taken with milk three times a day. Or the crushed leaves are made into a fine paste and applied as a poultice. This is said to help with burning and bleeding. The crushed whole plant is used to make a decoction and then used to wash areas on the skin. This is said to be useful for treating skin diseases. Thirty milligrams of the leaf juice is taken to treat indigestion and acidity. A root decoction is taken which is said to dissolve gallstones and promote urinary function. The root is tied on the neck which is said to be useful for treating colds and coughs. Crushed leaves applied as a poultice over the pubic area is said to be useful for excessive urination. The root paste is applied topically to heal sores. A mixture of the crushed plant and water is applied topically to reduce edema. Tea made from the root of the plant is said to be useful for pain of any type.
The root tea is said to be useful for gonorrhea and poisoning. Sensitive plant seeds form a mucilaginous gel when combined with water. This gel is said to bind toxins, bacteria, parasites, and other unwanted substances within the digestive tract, effectively removing them from the body. Its ability to cleanse the gut helps in maintaining gut health and can be useful in combating bloating and indigestion. When you consume the seed supplement, it binds with toxins in the digestive system, helping to remove them from the body. Its role in detoxification therefore supports the function of our liver. It also has antioxidants which can help to fight harmful free radicals that cause oxidative stress, leading to the formation of diseases in the body. It has the potential to enhance one's mood, mostly because of its rich flavonoid content. Research has linked this to improved mood and reduced anxiety levels. So taking the seed supplement may therefore potentially offer a natural way for us to manage stress and promote positivity and overall emotional well-being. Taking the seed supplement offers a natural way of supporting sleep-related issues. It does this by cutting down on anxiety and promoting relaxation, which ultimately helps to facilitate restful sleep. Studies suggest that the plant has the potential to support mental clarity and concentration. So taking the supplement may contribute to improved focus, mental agility and productivity. Taking the supplement can also help to strengthen our immune system. The plant has antimicrobial properties which can protect the body from harmful bacteria, viruses and fungi. So essentially when you take the supplement it will help to strengthen the body's natural defenses, contributing to a fortified resistance to diseases. Certain compounds within the plant have been shown to help regulate blood sugar levels. This makes it potentially useful for individuals managing diabetes. Taking the supplement might provide natural support for blood sugar management, complementing other diabetes treatments and lifestyle modifications. For those who are interested, you can get sensitive plant seed supplements to buy on Amazon. To take a look at some of the brands available, please click on the links in the description below. Usually, the recommended dosage and usage is available on the packaging, but it's best to talk to your healthcare provider about SEAM. It's recommended for you to talk to your medical doctor before taking sensitive plant. It's not to be taken by a pregnant or breastfeeding woman. It can be fatal if it is taken in high doses. It is not to be used by persons who suffer from constipation or by women who have light, scanty periods. And it can interact with some prescribed drugs. That's it for now, my beautiful people. I hope you found value in today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.